you know about Christmas? It was just a good opportunity just to um, be part of the larger Catholic family, part of Sydney. At Easter. I feel like I'm part of my faith and walking with people who have the same morals and beliefs as me. But how much do you know about the day we gather to walk with Christ? Oh, it's extremely special just to see so many people over here, obviously all with the same faith and you know, here to celebrate Jesus. The Feast of Corpus Christi is a sacred time in the life of the church, celebrating the real presence of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. It's lovely that we sometimes use Latin words like Corpus Christi. So the old Latin word means the body of Christ. And the Feast of Corpus Christi, the Feast of the Body and Blood of Christ, is just an opportunity for Catholics to think about and to meet Christ in a slightly different way from the way they usually do. Professor Hayden Ramsey from the Australian Catholic University is all too familiar with the history of the Sacred Feast Day, which can trace its origins back to a single event 760 years ago. So Corpus Christi is a much, much later celebration than Christmas or Easter. It goes back to the middle of the 13th century, which was a long time ago, but not as long as, uh, as, uh, as the first Christmas was. Professor Ramsey explains that the feast we know today began with one man, a German priest known as Peter of Prague. In the, uh, in the middle of the 13th century, there, there was a, a movement of thought and practice, if you like, a movement of love, to adore the Blessed Sacrament in a more public way. While on pilgrimage to Rome in 1263, Father Peter stopped to celebrate Mass above the tomb of St. Christina. There was um, what we call a Eucharistic miracle. In the town of Bolsena in 1263, the, the, the host, the consecrated host, the body of Christ, uh, began, we're told, to bleed on the altar. A miracle of wonder which quickly spread throughout the church. This attracted great um, popular um, uh, piety, interest, enthusiasm from the people. And um, the, the Pope of the day, he was Pope Urban IV, um, he actually established a uh, well, he established the Feast of Corpus Christi, 1264. Pope Urban IV quickly cemented the importance of Bolsena in the church, tasking St Thomas Aquinas to create a new feast day in honour of the Blessed Miracle. But he also established in the town of Orvieto in Italy, where he lived, the most wonderful cathedral building to house the relic of this Eucharistic miracle. And um, he... Um, he was uh, very active in encouraging adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, uh, in, in asking for hymns and prayers to be written, works of art started springing up, focusing on, on, on this event, this miracle, and on the fact that it was seen as the Pope, seen by Pope Urban as a reminder from heaven that he is with us, and we should have a special feast to celebrate that. The long-held celebration, which is common across Europe, has been brought to life in Australia by the Archdiocese of Sydney. And if you ask me, what's this feast really about? It's an opportunity for Jesus to leave the tabernacle in the hands of the priest, to leave the church, and to say, I am here, I am with you always. Tens of thousands of people gather to celebrate the Sacred Feast Day in Sydney each year, celebrated by our Archbishop. A grand procession through the city, which begins at our oldest Catholic church. I think what's taking place at the moment is just a service we're trying to set up a canopy, which will basically carry through the streets from here to St. Pat's. Members of the clergy prepare the canopy that will cover the Blessed Sacrament on its journey. I think the purpose of the canopy is to basically show reverence to the Blessed Sacrament because we're basically carrying Jesus all around the streets. and It's, it's a way of, I guess, the church showing reverence to the Blessed Sacrament to protect it from the elements of nature. It's a site common of the royal coronations of Europe where the new monarch is covered above. 
I think that's another reason why we have the canopy, basically show that um, kingship of Jesus. Meanwhile, in Science and Patrick's Church Hill, our senior church leaders prepare for game day. It's like when you're preparing yourself for a wedding feast. And you know, people even make videos about that. Look, I, I think that's, that's what our faith brings us. It, it is a, always a great joy to, to be united in Christ. Um, and we're here for Jesus. And, and that, that, that always uh, resonates. As the event begins, there's a holy purpose to the procession. In the days leading up to the event, Bishop Richard Umbers took some time out to explain the significance of the occasion. So the Walk with Christ is a Eucharistic procession, which has a long tradition in the church. But the Eucharist is what makes the church. And to spend that time with Jesus who was really present there uh, is a, a privilege that faith, that um, popular appeal is, is something that, that, that lifts people in their hearts and uh, does a lot for showing our faith in the streets to Sydney. One group in the crowd is the students of Champagne at Catholic College Pagewood. They've been preparing for this day for the past week because this year, the Feast of Corpus Christi takes on a whole new meaning. They'll be marching under the Champagne banner for the last time before the college takes on a new name. I feel pretty proud of representing the school and waving that banner and um, yeah, and also because of the name change at the school next year, Corpus Christi, which is also going to it's also going to be Corpus Christi on Sunday, which is ironic. After several years' absence due to the pandemic, the young men at the college took the week to prepare. Serious in their representation of their community, school and faith. Uh, being in a community, being in a Christian community, uh, just being out here with all these people, uh, feeling proud with what I'm wearing, feeling proud of this school. And that's really important to me personally because yeah, we're the first people from this school in a long time to go out there and represent the college in what we believe in. Um, I believe it is, especially in this you know day and age where everyone has their own opinions and whatsoever. I believe you know us showing that we are Catholic, you know, proves that we are like religiously strong within our faith, and we have a strong connection with God and you know all our peers, even at this school, you know. Not everyone, everyone's from different religions, different backgrounds, but we all come together as one. Following the procession through Sydney, the Archbishop pauses at moments to pray not just for Catholics, but the entire city, blessing the business district, parliament, the hospitals, and the law courts. As crowds gather in the forecourt of Australia's Mother Church to await the arrival of the body of Christ. Uh, we came down today to just bear witness to our faith. Um, we're celebrating the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Um, and I think it's a beautiful tradition that our church has. We all share it and we all proclaim the love of Jesus Christ to everyone. It's a great way to um, evangelize and uh, be a witness to the faith. The faith isn't just for the older people. The young people have really taken to it and it's just beautiful. It's just so rich. As the procession arrives, the crowd are eager to hear from the Archbishop, who addresses the tens of thousands waiting. So what about our Eucharistic procession today? What does it say about what we believe? In the simplest terms, it is the visible public expression that we, above all, are Christians, followers of Christ, our way and truth and life as we followed behind him today. It also affirms that the God we worship loves us so profoundly and intimately that he gave his only son as we took the Lord through the streets, past business, commerce, past parliament and the law courts past Sydney Hospital and so many other aspects of the life of our city and nation. We said to them all, you need Christ and we beg Christ to bless them all. Before we were called Catholics or even Christians, we were called followers of the way. 
This was because discipleship is about following a path more than reciting propositions. It's about a relationship with a person more than membership of a club. The importance of this event cannot be underestimated in the life of our Holy Catholic Church, especially as it returns to prominence post-pandemic. In terms of Corpus Christi, if you add to that being outside, being together, being part of a crowd with an identity, performing an act of witness, performing an act of service, if you add these different layers on, you can maybe start to see why this year and at this time Corpus Christi is enjoying some renewed popularity. It is a bit unexpected because, to be honest, to take part in a Eucharistic procession today, it takes some courage. Our Archbishop, the Most Reverend Anthony Fisher, invites all Catholics to join in the procession next year as the feast day continues to grow. Oh, it's extremely special just to see so many people over here, obviously all with the same faith and you know here to celebrate Jesus. You can really appreciate the amount of young people here and also the, the young families seeing the future of the church is really encouraging. And uh, nice to be all united together in the name of the Jesus. Amen.